We made this modern rolling barn door with a hardware set from Amazon and three sheets of plywood. And then we sold it for $1,300. This project was a game changer for us because it was the first time that a total stranger had paid us over $1,000 for a single project. We were so excited. If you're trying to sell what you make and you're trying to make your way to your first 10K, maybe this story of ours will help you get there faster. How did we do it? When we started this project, we lived in Minot, North Dakota, a relatively small town in the middle of nowhere. I used to run the heater in the garage for an hour before we had to start working so my glue wouldn't freeze while it was drying. We had a small collection of hobbyist tools in our garage and we were working at least 70 hours a week with the military. We wanted to start selling some of the furniture that we were building and we had sold a few pieces to friends but not a whole lot to strangers, uh, nothing over $400. So how did we find a customer that was willing to pay that much uh, in a small rural town like that? Well, in our last video, we gave you guys the key to the casual clothes, as we call it, uh, where when somebody says like, hey man, how are you doing? You just swap your normal response with a tiny little blurb about your business. Well, we started doing this every time we met somebody. And by doing that, we just so happened to meet our neighbor across the street who ran a neighborhood-wide magazine. She fell in love with our story and wanted to feature us and our business in the next issue. We still have a copy of it. It's right here. <laughs> We're so young and dumb. Check that out. Together, the two enjoy building furniture and running their furniture business. The concept of relaxing is foreign to them, as any and all free time is devoted to their furniture building and the YouTube channel they run. Not much has changed since then. The busy couple contributes lots of hard work and little sleep to their recipe for success. Oh my gosh, it's still true today. After our lucky break with our newfound fame and stardom, we met another neighbor who read that story in the magazine and she flipped homes. And she was working on a new townhome a couple blocks over and she wanted a rolling barn door for that townhome. But she didn't want just any rolling barn door. No, she wanted a solid wood, live edge rolling barn door. This thing was gonna be like 200 pounds. She wanted it to be massive. This would have taken me weeks to build. And I'd never built anything like that before, so I was gonna have to buy a bunch of new tools. It was just a monster project. So I thought on my toes really fast, and I just asked her, hey, what's your budget for this door? And she said, ah, I'd like to not spend more than $2,000. Now, keep in mind, North Dakota doesn't have a lot of trees. <laughs> And the closest hardwood dealer with anything like what she wanted was at least an eight hour drive away. $2,000 is not enough for something like this. Plus, I would need all sorts of new tools, I'd need to practice, I'd have to play with uh, all sorts of new techniques. So I quoted her something close to $4,000, knowing that she wouldn't bite. But I had a trick up my sleeve. For $1,300, I said, I can build you a beautiful, modern, herringbone pattern barn door. This would save her $700 on her budget, it would solve her problem, and it would look beautiful while doing it. And she said yes. And not just yes, she was over the moon. She was so happy, she loved the design, and she could spend the extra $700 she saved on nicer faucets for the house. She paid her invoice right away, and it was time to start building.
In just a couple of days, we had the door built, finished, and delivered to her contractors for installation. This was the first project that really opened my eyes to see how wealthy people uh, spend money freely and use it as a tool, whereas sad people try to bargain every last dollar out of you for honest, quality work. It taught me the kind of person that we need to look for when we try to sell what it is that we make. So if you're out there looking to start selling what you make, I want to encourage you. We actually undercharged for this door. I underestimated the labor cost of how long it would take to make the herringbone pattern. I had to redo a section, I had to go buy more finish. But you know what? I wouldn't be here in our big warehouse running this business now if it wasn't for the actions Younger Davis took. you're probably comparing yourself to every excited YouTuber out there who brags about the money they made in their thumbnail and over time that can start to feel bad. It can feel really overwhelming when you don't know where to start or how to get customers. But we're here to tell you, do it wrong. Do it ugly. Make a mistake. It's part of the learning process. And we're here to cheer you on every step of the way. We are so happy when we hear stories from you guys about how you're actually taking action and growing your business. It, it literally means the world to us and we just want to get more people excited to, to make money because there's so much demand out there for high quality work. So share this video with more people you know so we can all have fun doing this together. Hit subscribe and we'll I see you on the next one.